Hi, we've got a PCB here that we've had made at our sponsor for this video, JLC PCB. So this is one of their blue 1.6 millimeter Enig plated PCBs. And we've got a component on here, and let's just say that this component has now broken. And this is a surface mount device, quite large, and if we want to remove it from a PCB, um, this can be quite troublesome. There's lots of different ways in which we can do it. We can try and do it with a soldering iron with some solder wick, but when you've got this many pins, uh, it's quite difficult to remove it using that method. Sometimes you might have to slice through the pins and remove the pins one by one. Uh, if you're lucky, you can use something like that chip quick. Uh, low temperature solder and try and get it all hot at the same time but all of these are quite messy and then when we want to use hot air it can be actually quite difficult to remove a chip this large because even with these very large tweezers you can't actually really get a grip of a component like this and you only have to slip slightly and you might wipe out half of the components on your board because when you're using hot air on something this big almost certainly you're going to reflow some of the components around it. So I want to share with you um, these parts that I found. I've never actually used them yet, uh, but these are from JBC. Uh, this is the E2190, and there's a couple of different types here. This is a small extractor, the T250, uh, sorry, T2050, and a larger one, which we're going to try today. Uh, this is the T2250. And these attach nominally to the JBC vacuum pump but I'm going to attach it to mine and if this works well then this um, sort of continuous suction feature is something that I'm going to add into the new vacuum pump design that we're going to make uh, in a couple of weeks uh, and then everyone else can build it as well using the design that I've made. Uh, but the idea is that this has got kind of a suction cup at the bottom here. You apply a vacuum to the port here and this sits over the component and you press it onto there when there's vacuum that sucks onto it and basically then you apply hot air to the chip and once it's melted this will just lift the chip straight up without any risk of damage to any of the components around it. So we're going to give this a go today and see how well it works. So you do need um, some of these vacuum tubes that plugs into the top here and then this will attach to my vacuum pump. Now on uh, the first version that I've made that I did a video on quite a while back, uh, we've just got foot pedal control, but I'm gonna make the new unit a lot more compact with some buttons on the front and one of them will be continuous suction uh, for something like this. So let's try it out. And so as you saw that made release of the components really easy, it just pops them up off the board. Now the 2250, the larger version, is a lot more stable than the small one because this has got quite a small tripod. I did find this one had a tendency to fall over when it ejects the components, but as long as you don't lose vacuum, you're not going to drop your part onto your PCB. But these are quite a nice accessory and a lot easier than using tweezers on some of these larger components that you just can't get a grip on. Now in terms of price, um, I think I paid £25 for these, which is not too bad. It's about the price of a very good pair of SMD tweezers. Obviously you can get much cheaper ones, uh, but if you're doing a lot of rework, this can make the job a lot easier. And then I did mention there was this manual extractor. It's basically the same as this one without the tripod, so you hold it in place. In fact, this probably makes things a bit easier because you can heat up the component. Um, as you saw, I kind of had to move the hot air wand around trying to avoid the tripod you could probably heat up the chip pretty much on its own and then just go down suction it and then this is spring loaded so you can just lift it straight up and it has this shield to stop you damaging the uh, the little sucker on the end but i thought these were quite useful i'll put a link in the description to these parts on the jbc website um, and if you're interested uh, that you could take a look at those 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any thoughts or comments, don't forget to leave them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to visit our sponsor, JLC PCB, if you want to get some PCBs made or if you want to get some 3D parts printed. And until next time, thanks for watching.